okay fine uh, i would like to discuss regarding uh, the tecla software how we use uh, the detailing uh, tool and uh, i would like to sell the importance of detailer in the tecla industry okay uh, first of all uh, this is the 3d model what we get from the modeler so since it is a 3d model if you want to see the drawing list place uh, uh, control i by pressing control plus i we get uh, the 2d drawing list so this is what uh, so these are the drawings we have and uh, by searching here beam with cop cuts you can uh, get uh, the beam we, we, we can search all the beams with it so first of all i would like to show you one model uh, okay so i will explain you how we do it so that uh, you can understand uh, the process of uh, doing the modeling okay so here we can see this is a beam uh, having beam number b833 so while telling this only i'll explain to you the different uh, things you must learn so this is the drawing tool uh, see if you press here the drawing tool we can see previous next next and these two things we use the most previous and next uh, these things we use the most and then uh, uh, this text and uh, we use the most and then if we come to dimensions in dimensions we have horizontal dimensions and uh, the vertical dimension uh, this we use the most and then uh, this on the radial dimension we use the most and so these things are uh, sufficient to do this project so in this uh, project I will tell you how to do uh, detailing of a beam with uh, cop cuts and uh, cop cuts okay uh, so this is the front view and uh, this is the top view and we can see here uh, there is a cut so this cut if you want to see uh, clearly here here we can see a cut uh, see since it is in uh, dotted lines it is far side and uh, here also we have cuts here also see you can see here see here also we have cuts but uh, it is uh, in he in, it's in front side so that's no problem so i'll tell you how to do detailing of this uh, beam so first thing is i'll give you and, and also in dimensions i'll um, and also in dimensions take the uh, first of all you just uh, try to keep it so by pressing shift you can just drag it down okay and uh, you just pull to the left side okay and then you can just pull it to the left side this is called the hole mark bolt mark okay or hole mark you just you catch this and just you pull this side okay and uh, now you you just take the horizontal uh, dimension so you go for double double click and in double click uh, here are the different standards we have i think uh, you're, you're all familiar with the uh, running dimension and all uh, I will explain to you regarding running dimensions and all uh, in coming videos. You just load it and uh, okay, okay. You want to do is you just uh, scratch here and then you just minimize here and uh, after going here, just center it and uh, you just make it here so that it's done. Okay. So it is called the running dimension okay it is called running dimension and then we must give uh, the distance from this bolt hole to this work point okay uh, horizontal dimensions uh, so double click and uh, so these are, these are the different things you must keep in mind okay and while doing uh, and all analysis and all uh, take this okay take uh, you can either scratch this Okay, I'll tell you. See, take on hole mark and you just do it and uh, just pull it to the outside. Okay, got it. Okay, since uh, if you want this to be this side, you just uh, uh, double click on it and uh, flip outside so it just goes that side. Okay, so that it, it becomes so that it is very convenient uh, while doing that. So, once again, horizontal dimension. Uh, you can also either you can also come in this fashion okay 
instead of going from top you can also go from bottom so that directly it gets flips outside only so that uh, it just flips so what will do is you just come and go from flip outside dimension so that's it it's got it so this is the horizontal dimension between this bolt to the other end okay and now what we'll do is uh, we did we gave overall dimension we gave the rd and then uh, we gave rd and then we gave the horizontal dimension and now we will use a vertical dimension okay uh, what we'll do is uh, just go for it have a click it there plus point and then this 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 and uh, see here uh, one thing you must keep in your mind uh, i'll just tell you what to do so we completed our dimension and now we have the beam with the curve cut so here what we'll do is we just take the horizontal dimension so for that double click keep this standard okay fine it's in uh, see he, he, these are the different things we have okay first one is the chain dimension okay we use uh, as per the requirement and uh, one two three four five fifth one is called chain with rd okay and this last eighth one is called elevation so as per the purpose we use the different things uh, what we require okay and um, so first one i'm doing this so okay uh, so if i am going to take the horizontal dimension from here to here okay fine that's the horizontal dimension and now the vertical dimension is from here to just drag it you just uh, drag it and pull this side so that it's sufficient okay so since uh, it's it's uh, you know it's gonna clashing what you do is you just go and right click and flip it so that it's not crash so now we must give this radius so to give radius you just take uh, you just minimize it uh, just take this um, radius thing okay and uh, see while doing radius uh, it must be in clockwise direction so that we get track okay so take first click here second see while giving radial dimension we, we you must get uh, the you must give you must have three points okay so to, to give radial dimension we must have the two points okay so computed so what it is it's computed okay now we must do this part so okay now we must do this part so while doing this part uh, you just take the vertical dimension uh, uh, just take the vertical dimension and you just uh, click it click 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 and you just do it you just drag as per the requirement and all uh, now I want to detail the scope cut. So if you want to detail the scope cut, take the horizontal, and then take the horizontal dimension from here to here, and you just pull it here. Okay. If you if you don't want that to be tall, so you can just go like this. And if you want to just, you can just turn this side. Okay, and uh, it's sufficient. And if you, if you want to give the horizontal dimension, you can just uh, go for it and uh, just uh, pick up, pick this point, and uh, you can just get the horizontal dimension in this way. <coughs> have the first click here, and then you can just have this second click. Once again, I'm telling you, once again, I'm telling the horizontal dimension. You just go for uh, first click. You can go for here, and then this is the second click. In this way you will get the horizontal dimension so if you want to give the vertical dimension you go for this first click this is the first click you can go for it and this is the this is the second click and uh, in this way you can get this so if you want this to flip outside just uh, click right click and flip out a dimension so that it goes to the outer out direction so since it is clumsy, you can just arrange as per the requirement. You can either uh, pull this outside and do this way, or as per the requirement, you can do whatever the way you want. And uh, you can also pull this. Uh, you can also pull this as per the requirement. It's up to the you. So it's up to the. It's up to the designer. 
where you want to keep it so now I want to give the radius see to give radius you just go just take the radial toolbar you must have the three clicks okay take the starting point second point and third point just drag you get the radius okay so in this way we must do detailing of the cop cuts okay and then later on uh, now we must go to top view to so that if you want to detail in top view double click here and make this center line on and orientation mark off see actually as far as the main concept is concerned orientation mark uh, is required only one side so actually in front view we have the orientation mark in top view orientation mark is not required so you can just remove the orientation mark just remove orientation mark center center line must be on modify apply and ok in this way you should remove in this way you should remove this orientation mark and uh, you must add the center line now we must detail the top view of this beam so what we'll do is take the horizontal dimension and then pick the center point pick the center point and drag to this point you just get uh, the horizontal dimension in this way okay and uh, so if you want to pick this point you just pick the center point you just uh, pick the center point and you just drag here uh, so that uh, you can uh, get it okay so in this way we can arrange this so in this way we can arrange uh, and now if you want any adjustment if you want to do any adjustments you can just do adjustments and uh, if, you, if you think anything is bulging you can just uh, move this up and down if you want to move this you can just move this up and down okay and now we must give and now we must write the name that is a uh, far side uh, whether it is a uh, flush with web or uh, flush with web or if you want to give any distance we can we should give any distance so that if you want to write a text that is a uh, cut off uh, cut top flange flush with web and all so you double click on this number go to tags and here uh, we can say whatever we want so next time whenever I do this uh, I will tell you uh, how to give this dimensions and all if the time permits so already I saved a few things like uh, cut uh, top flange and all so cut top flange too so okay okay I want to give I want to tell you a few things uh, so that you can understand so if for example if you want to write a name that is a uh, flesh with web cut top flange or flesh with web uh, I'll tell you that how to write that in the next series because uh, the video length becomes more so I just want to make it as simple as possible so already I saved a few things so cut top flange already I saved a few things so just for understanding insert it and just load it so that you get the names so I just press the modify you just get see here you can see cut top flange flesh with web so that okay in this way you should do view detailing okay and uh, uh, you just uh, double click here and uh, you just go to cut bottom flange so already I say so already I predefined it so that it becomes easier uh, so you just get it so you just adjust it so uh, now what you do is you just uh, adjust this Okay, now you just adjust so that uh, you can do any adjustments whatever you want. So in this way you should do it. And uh, so if you want to keep this beam and this beam in the same alignment, what you should do is you just double press on this line uh, so that uh, no, you, you just uh, press and uh, you right click, you press align vertical. You just uh, click the top point here and uh, point here so that uh, the both uh, becomes aligned so so it is a way to do the detailing and now we must do the elevation okay so for, for giving elevation what we do is take the vertical double click vertical since I already predefined it uh, so I just load uh, you must check the appearance okay 
so you just click it and uh, you just click here so so this is the way we must uh, do so i just uh, recall to you where what i have done okay see this is the way we must do detailing of a beam first you must give the overall dimension and uh, section name it will come automatically and then uh, you must give rd running dimension rd is called the running dimension so instead of giving entire length since we have two bolts so only we have two connections two bolts uh, only we have two sets of bolts one at the near end one the far so i just give running dimension here and then uh, you just uh, take this uh, after that you just give the whole dimension from the running point to first hold the horizontal dimension same thing i have given here same thing I have I have given there and then you give the vertical dimension from this work point to all the holes okay after that you just go this scope cut you give the vertical dimension you give the horizontal dimension and and then you just give the radial di radial distance ra ra radial dimension okay and uh, same thing same thing happens and then here also we do the same process and uh, this is uh, flesh with web so in this way you should do in next video i will discuss to you how we must do few settings and all the in dimensions and all i will tell you in another video